Hi, it's Kate from Katie Did, and look who I'm here with. It's my my sweet husband, and we are here at Highland Park Laboratory. It's the same, and all the grid of material that's laid out, it's all labeled, all the material. We stock over 200 different stones. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? I have some crazy good pseudomorphic coin meto. Oh man, that's that's amazing. Oh, there's some more. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Wow. And then this. <laughs> wow, super cool. Jim and I got an opportunity to visit Highland Park Lapidary in Whitensville, Massachusetts, and look at all their beautiful rocks. This is some Paul Bunyan agate, which I actually haven't seen before. And here is some 1970s Malawi classic. This stuff has some really nice kind of oranges and reds, just a really pretty material. This is some Idaho sea maggot and it is like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. This is Idaho sunset and it is only in one spot in Idaho. They have been digging it out pretty much by hand. They finally got a got a got some equipment up there so they're able to get some bigger pieces out. But look at how gorgeous that is. Love it. This is some stuff from China called Chocolate Swirl and it is so pretty. A lot of this stuff isn't available on the auction. It's only or on the website. It's only available on the, on the live auction. So it's pretty darn cool. This stuff is called hemimorphite. It's uh, it's actually had a copper dripping onto it, and um, and so it's this blue is sort of on the outside and sort of a little bit soaked into it. But I've been kind of reluctant to to uh, get some just because copper is sort of toxic to work with. And this is Cherry Creek Jasper. Oh, they have so many beautiful rocks. This is River Jasper. This looks a lot, a lot, a lot like Ocean Jasper, but it's from a different place. It has orbs in it, just like the Ocean Jasper does. Uh-oh, Jim's looking at something. It's extraordinary quartz, but it's a very nice, clear piece. Sweet. These are cool. These are island agates and they come from a little island off the coast of Australia and they're trying to keep the location sort of super secret so that it doesn't get mined out I guess. I really like them. Look at that. Some Argentinian banded plume. That's kind of a cool rock, huh? You can buy it, I bet. Some Kambaba Jasper. Oh, I love this stuff so much. This is in the bin marked Turkish Needle Agate, but this looks like kind of a waterline fortification. What a cool agate this is. Oh, and there's the needles there. Wow, that is a stunner. Anybody recognize this? That's right, it's Montana Moss Agate. This stuff is really pretty. This is blue chalcedony from Turkey. I think from Turkey, I might be wrong. And then right next to it here, this is charoite. And I first saw this stuff at, uh, at Tucson and I was thinking, well, that's interesting. They had big blocks of it like this. And somebody, he told me that some people make countertops out of it. And I thought, well, that would be really pretty, but I can't imagine anybody being rich enough to do that anymore because the stuff is really expensive since Russia is not really exporting it right now. Some crazy lace agate. It's a whole bin of Wonderstone. Such pretty material. Oh, here's, this is cool. This is Blue Forest limb cast pieces. And I haven't been to the Blue Forest yet. It is relatively close to me. Relatively, I'm still probably 500 miles away, but you know, compared to, uh, to compared to Massachusetts, it's very close. Anyway, these are really neat. 
my dad made he found one like this made a little end polish out of it i still have that Ooh, look at the color there this is too light too light too light from norway i think norway and the color is just fantastic anybody like some soda light i really like this stuff oh my gosh i could just like load up i'm i'm flying so i'm not going to be able to I'm not going to be able to haul back a bunch of stuff, but I can share it with you. Look at that. This is what they call fruitcake, Jasper. <laughs> I love it. Look at this green tree. This stuff is so pretty. It's just like pure, pure white and pure green. Just gorgeous. This stuff is called Turkish Delight. Isn't that something? And it's got it's got all these layers here, so you can see if you cut it, this is what it looks like. That is just awesome. A lot of this stuff isn't on the website. It is just available through the live auctions, so that's something that if you're interested in, you gotta go to Highland Park Lapidary and get it get it registered. Gold stone. Ah, oh, some blue gold stone. This stuff is actually man-made shiny, sparkly glass. Way long time ago, somebody, a monk in Italy, learned how to put co suspend copper flakes in glass, and the first gold stone was born, and now they make it in... They figured it out a while ago, and now they can make it industrially and they can make it in blues and greens and blacks. This was, I think this was the original color. Got a green one there. Oh, that green is so pretty. This is a piece called Dragon's Blood. Look at how gorgeous that is. I, it's a little hard to tell because it's not uh, cut flat, but it has these wonderful green streaks and the reds red all swirled together. I love it. Here is a beautiful chunk of purple and green jade. Look at how kind of soft sage that that green is and you can see the purple just kind of coming in around the edges. I am recently on a jade kick and so I'm really really loving this. This is Katie Mountain Agate. Isn't that something? I want some of this too. I think this is a piece of crazy lace but it is just huge. This is my hand. Oops, where's my hand? There it is. So this chunk is just so big, and look at these patterns on it. Isn't that just gorgeous? Very pretty. Speaking of patterns, here's some chevron amethyst. Love this material. Wow, the color shows up really well on this camera. This is some blue chalcedony from Namibia, and look at that blue. I mean, that is just deep. So gorgeous some pink opal hmm. pretty this is in the old stock laguna bin and i'll bet that is purple passion isn't that pretty look at all these beautiful agates i went to the mall i sprayed on the wrong side Almost a whole nodule. Sure does have a lot of the purpley overtones. I wonder if this whole bin is really um, what they call purple passion. This one sure is. That's pretty cool. This is lapis lazuli. Sorry, I kind of got lost in the colors. This is a piece of lapis, and if you see a lapis that's solid all the way through, it's probably dyed. So you're looking for the really, really deep blue, but it's not always all the way through. Wow, look at this piece. This is something called Cherry Orchard, or also African Bloodstone, and I just love the colors in that. I'm not even sure what this is. My guess is maybe some kind of serpentine? but I have no idea. I'll bet it's pretty when it's cut though. 
some big old chunks of Malagano Jasper. I do love that Malagano Jasper. It's so pretty. Oop, we're back to the Idaho sunset. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is script stone. This stuff is so cool. It looks like writing in the stone because of all the little, all the little stuff that's in it. Must be fossils. That is really cool. And this stuff is from Canada. It's called Pinolith. And I got some, it's surprisingly soft, but holy cow, is it pretty. Isn't that nice? Oh, I love this stuff. Whoops. <laughs> this is blue aragonite. Isn't that pretty? This is something called Royal Imperial Jasper, and Royal Imperial Jasper comes in nodules. This is just a broken one. And the thing that's special about it is that it has little orbs that grow in there, and you can see what those orbs, what causes those orbs is, is a, a, a pattern of growth inside. It's a really cool material. Two purple jade. Whoa, very purple jade. Isn't that pretty? This is a type of petrified wood called pocket rock. And basically holes have formed inside the petrified wood and then it's been filled with kind of an agate material and it is just gorgeous. Some polychrome jasper. This is not the stuff I don't think from the desert southwest. I think it comes from somewhere else, uh, but it's real similar, real similar to the polychrome jasper that you see from there, from the south. Um, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Takes a great polish. And then next door we would hear some Labradorite. And you're probably familiar with Labradorite because you've seen the blue here, you know, the blue stones. But this is what Labradorite looks in the rough, looks like in the rough. And you have to figure out how to cut it so that those blue planes will actually show because they kind of go every which way in the rock. Some Mookaite. This is from Australia, from Mooka Creek. Isn't that beautiful? This is lapis lace. This is just a kind of a blue and, and lighter blue kind of streaky material, just real pretty. This isn't labeled, but I'll bet that it's fancy jasper, also known as bloodstone. Oh, nope. This is, this looks like Idaho sunset. That's odd. I suppose this is all Idaho sunset. It's like the darker stuff. Hmm. Maybe this is like the lower grade? I don't know. I guess I should film things that don't have labels. Some bauxite. I don't know what this looks like when it's cut. But here's... Oh, here we go. So this is just kind of what it looks like on the outside. And then this is broken. So you can see it's got all these little, these little dots inside. That's really cool. Mmm, Stone Canyon. I love this stuff. It's from Indonesia. Stone Canyon Jasper. Wow, that is like just such an amazing place to visit. Uh, HP Lapidary in Wittensville, Massachusetts. And uh, they'll, they'll take visitors if you ever want to come, come look around. It is a heck of a place. So thank you to HP Lapidary for letting me film here and I hope you enjoyed yourself. This is Kate from Katie Did. <laughs> Keep on doing.